Hello and uh, good morning. Welcome to my channel. I'm uh, Diddy as always, or Diddy Malgia. And um, yeah, this is uh, where I do my reaction uh, videos. And yeah, lately I've been, uh, how can I say, abroad a lot with my music. I've been to Japan, Indonesia, Australia. Uh, I have Angelina Jordan as well. She's Norwegian, but uh, she currently lives in California. Um, and uh, so I thought I was going to find one of the more, or I would say least known Norwegian singers that has an absolutely stunning voice. Uh, she is uh, very well known here in in uh, in Norway, uh, and uh, for me, she has been uh, one of the favorite female artists here in uh, Norway um, for quite some time. Um, she has mainly uh, done um, yeah smaller concerts. She's uh, yeah released a few albums. And uh, one of the albums she released was, um, yeah, it turned out, for, at least for, for my family, to be a, a sort of um, say family fa uh, favorite. Uh, it was an album we always listened to in the car when we were driving. The kids loved it. I loved it. Uh, my girlfriend loved it. You know, everybody. So, so it became the, the regular CD that uh, ran in the car when we were going on uh, holiday trips and stuff like that. And uh, this, uh, this lady is called Helena Buxler. Um She is, um, yeah, f actually a few years younger than me, so... Uh, but uh, no, she is a she is a singer. She's also an actress here in uh, in uh, Norway. And uh, yeah, I have heard a lot from her, but not everything. And uh, when I was looking through uh, her stuff, I found a song called uh, "Bifrost," and uh, that is actually from uh, a movie. It's the official video to, to the song, uh, but it's a song used in a movie called uh, uh, um here in Norway. Um, that's a movie I haven't seen, but it's actually about, uh, it's a little bit Norwegian history. Uh, two guys, uh, how can I say, risking their lives to, to save a a baby which is uh, later to be king in Norway. This is in the 11th, uh, 12th uh, century. And uh, he became the the longest uh, ruling king in Norway of all time. So, um, yeah. I have never seen this. I've never heard it. So, uh, yeah, I think we're just going to jump in right after I tell you that in the description below. You will find uh, links to the original video and uh, you will also find uh, links to uh, Helena Buxer's YouTube. Um, and uh, yeah, I think we'll just start there. I think I have to have uh, a little bit filter on it since um, it's a music video and uh, Norwegian music companies are very strict with uh yeah yeah all the music rights and stuff like that so uh let's uh let's just jump in and see if this uh is something yeah normally she has a absolutely beautiful voice and i i pray that she she still got it so let's go in Yeah. 
Well, this lady doesn't dis uh, didn't disappoint me at least. Uh, she still has an absolutely stunning voice, and um, yeah. Uh, for those of you who wondered, uh, she did not sing in uh, Norwegian like we talk today. Uh, this was uh, probably uh, a mix between old Norwegian and, and uh, Icelandic uh, from back in the days. So, um, yeah, if I I understand a lot of it, but uh, not all. So I have to to look into the lyrics as well. But I think it's she just sings about the story about how a group of people decided to save um the heir to the to the throne the little child and um everybody else was after the child to kill it so somebody else could claim the throne in uh, in uh, in Norway in the 11th 12th uh, century so uh, yeah no but uh Helena Bucksville 
she has done uh, quite a lot. Uh, the first time I heard her was actually um, when she made some uh, music for um, a Norwegian produced game called the. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. But it, it was the first Conan online game, at least. And uh, she made an absolutely epic soundtrack together with uh, the composers that were hired in to, to make the music. And uh, the Norwegian game production company chose her voice. And uh, yeah, she gave me quite a few hours of uh, her singing uh, when I was uh, playing the game back in the days. Um, today, Helena Buxa, she's, uh, I can say, yes, as I said, she, she uh, appears on small venues. She releases a, a record every now and then, uh, new songs. Uh, but she's just like um, another uh, Norwegian artist, which I have reacted to here, uh, Cicely Kjørsjebø, my uh, my local uh, heroine, so to say. Um, Helene is uh, from south of Norway, but um, these two women here are uh, in the same category. They are treasures of Norway. Um, Helene is a, is a little bit more, I can say, yeah, local, uh, known in Norway than Sissel. Sissel, she went abroad and, and got herself a big career. And, um, but Helena did not. She chose to stay at home, get kids, wife, no, uh, wives, I said, a <laughs> husband. And, uh, and uh, just doing her thing in a, in a little bit smaller scale here in Norway. But uh, she appears in uh, TV programs and uh, singing contests and everything like that uh, every now and then. She's also been into the Norwegian uh, Eurovision uh, song contest thing as well. But uh, oh, there's, uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with uh, this voice either. It's a voice from, from the angels, so to say. So, um, but, uh, yeah, as you saw, the video was full, uh, filled up with, uh, Norwegian things, uh, skiing and, and, uh, I can say almost uh, Viking things. Um, this was, a a little bit after, right after the Viking age. So, um, yeah. So I have to see the movie as well now because it actually looked, uh, Pretty decent for a Norwegian movie. So, uh, and uh, as long as Helena Böxa is uh, singing in it, then it will be w well worth the while. Yes, I'm done for now with Helena Böxa. I don't think there will be too much more of her because she does very little, uh, how can I say, um, live things. Little of her is recorded. Um, the, what is recorded I have seen uh, so there, it won't be a reaction but um, yeah I hope you liked it and uh, I will probably uh, put out a little uh, uh, translation on uh, in the description below here uh, with the lyrics for the song but uh, yeah that's it for now goodbye and uh, thank you for watching